my dear pupils are back at home. I once again greet you, um, inviting you to be with me um, so that we can share uh, in social studies about uh, fishing. But before I just do that, I feel it is important to start by reminding you on what you're supposed to do in order to assist in curbing the spread of this deadly virus that is Corona. That kindly remain at home. But if you are uh, you are pressed by an issue that um, forces you to leave your home, then always put on your mask. Avoid shaking people's hands, or hugging people. Uh, wash your hands thoroughly using soap and water. We grab the sanitizers, uh, the better. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, your mouth using your hands because we are told that this virus settles on different surfaces. By touching your eyes, your nose and your mouth, and uh, maybe perhaps uh, you, uh, uh, you touched uh, a surface that was contaminated, then uh, you are likely to infect yourself with this deadly virus. Uh, maintain uh, social distance, and above all, let us continue praying to our God, because our God is faithful, and I know He's going to intervene in this. Having said that, now allow me to go straight away to the topic of the day, whereby we are going to discuss about fishing. Uh, let me start by defining what is fishing. Uh, fishing is a process of uh, taking fish out of the water for consumption or for sale. Uh, fish is uh, human food and it is rich in uh, proteins. Now my dear pupils, uh, uh, let me talk about uh, the main inland and sea fishing grounds in Africa. Fish uh, grounds are divided into two. Fish grounds are divided into two. We have what we call inland fishing grounds. And inland fishing grounds include uh, rivers, uh, lakes, dams, uh, ponds. This is uh, fishing that is carried out uh, um, in uh, rivers, lakes, dams, ponds. We have swamps. So uh, this is uh, what you call uh, inland fishing grounds. Then we have what you call marine fishing grounds. Marine fishing grounds, this is uh, the type of fishing that is carried out in the seas and in the oceans. Now allow me to talk about the main inland fishing grounds uh, of Africa. The main uh, inland fishing grounds in Africa include uh, River Nile, River Congo, River Niger, River Senegal, River Gambia, River Zambezi, River Pangani, River Rufiji, River Tana, River Orange, River Limpopo, River Ruaha, and River Ruvuma. These are uh, the main inland fishing grounds uh, that is uh, uh, with the rivers. We also have uh, other uh, uh, inland fishing grounds that are related to lakes, and these are, um, these are the lakes uh, where fishing is carried out. This is uh, Lake Victoria, we have uh, Lake Tanganyika, we have a Lake Turkana, we have a Lake Baringo, we have Lake Naivasha, Lake Kyoga, Lake Albert, Lake Edward, we have uh, uh, other lakes like uh, uh, Lake Malawi, we have uh, Lake Bangweulu. This is uh, where uh, fishing is carried out and uh, uh, that is uh, inland fishing grounds. We also have uh, other inland fishing grounds, and this one uh, pertains to uh, human-made lakes. Human-made lakes, remember, these are lakes that are formed uh, when uh, human beings um, uh, construct dams on rivers. Now, human-made lakes, um, uh, which provide uh, inland fishing grounds, include uh, uh, Lake uh, Kainji on uh, River Niger. We have uh, Lake Masinga on River Tana. We have uh, Lake Volta on River Volta, we have uh, uh, Lake uh, Nyumba ya Mungu, we have uh, Lake Nasa on uh, River Nile, we have uh, Lake Kariba on uh, River Zambezi, and uh, we have uh, also Lake Kaborabasa on uh, River Zambezi. These are human-made lake, uh, lakes and they form uh, uh, inland fishing grounds. My dear pupils, now allow me to talk about uh, species of uh, fish uh, caught in inland fishing grounds. So these are uh, species of uh, fish caught in inland fishing ground. And we have uh, a song about it, and uh, the song goes this way. Tilapia, Nile patch, shellfish, mudfish, catfish, black bass, dagalangfish, 
There are fish caught in, in inland fishing grounds. Now, my dear pupils, allow me now to talk about uh, main sea fishing grounds of uh, Africa. The main sea fishing grounds of Africa include uh, um, South Africa, that is uh, on the side uh, of the Atlantic Ocean. We have Namibia, we have Angola, we have Nigeria, we have uh, Ghana, we have uh, Western Sahara, we have Morocco, we have uh, Algeria, we have uh, Cameroon, Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, and Cote d'Ivoire is also known as Ivory Coast. We have uh, Guinea, we have Senegal, we have Tunisia, we have uh, Cape Verde. So all these countries uh, that are not landlocked countries, they have uh, what you call uh, uh, the uh, sea or marine fishing grounds. Now allow me to talk about the type of fish caught in marine uh, fishing grounds. We have uh, fish like sardine, we have tuna, we have a uh, stock, we have mackerel, we have barracuda, we have sailfish, we have mallet, and we have uh, herrings. Uh, these are uh, the type of fish that are caught in marine fishing grounds. And we also have a song about it, and the song goes this way. Fish caught in marine include sardine, tuna, stock, mackerel, barracuda, sailfish, mallet, herrings, marine fish. Now, allow me to talk about uh, methods of uh, fishing. There are two methods of fishing. We have uh, traditional methods of fishing and uh, we have uh, the modern methods of uh, fishing. When you talk about uh, modern, this is uh, the type of fishing that uh, is uh, carried out uh, today using modernized me methods of fishing. Now, methods of fishing are um, um, identified according uh, to the type of uh, um, uh, net that uh, is used and the ground where uh, the fishing is carried out. Now, the modern methods of uh, fishing include uh, uh, the following. This is a net uh, drifting method of uh, fishing. Net drifting uh, method of fishing has only one boat and it has a triangular uh, uh, shaped uh, net. With, uh, we have uh, this uh, part known as uh, the floaters. These are what you call the floaters, and these are what you call uh, the weights. These are supposed to uh, make uh, the, uh, the net remain uh, vertically uh, placed in, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the water, so that uh, the fish will be entangled uh, within uh, the fish nets, these spaces. So this is what you call uh, net drifting. Net drifting is uh, carried out uh, in marine fishing ground. It is carried out in marine uh, fishing ground and uh, if you want to identify a net drifting you will see, look at the type of net that is used. If you see a triangular net with uh, the floaters uh, and uh, we have the weights then you know this is a uh, net drifting. This is another method of uh, fishing called passaining. Passaining is also a uh, modern method of uh, fishing and uh, with the Paseni you will uh, identify this method of uh, fishing uh, by looking at the net itself first of all uh, we have a C-shaped net uh, being pulled by two boats or two ships then um, uh, the fish are caught uh, here um, this method of fishing Paseni is carried out in marine fishing ground it is carried out in marine uh, fishing ground. And I uh, say that uh, you can always identify it by looking at uh, the two boats. When you, two, you see the two boats or two ships uh, pulling the net, a C-shaped net, then you know this is a uh, pass sailing. This is also another method of uh, uh, fishing. Uh, remember, uh, these are modern methods of fishing, and this is uh, trolling. Uh, trolling, um, uh, has one boat. When you look at uh, the net, is uh, a concept net. So if uh, you see um, a boat or a ship pulling a concall 
uh, net, then uh, we have uh, uh, fish uh, being uh, trapped here, then uh, you know this is a trolling. Remember trolling is the only method of fishing that is carried out in the deep sea. It is uh, the modern method of fishing, the only method, modern method of fishing that is carried out uh, in the deep sea. Uh, the rest of uh, the modern methods of fishing are carried out in marine fishing grounds. So if you ask about uh, the method of fishing, the modern method of fishing that is carried out in deep sea, then now uh, we have uh, trolling. And um, you can easily identify trolling by looking at uh, uh, the, type of, uh, uh, the, the type of net used. If you see a cone-shaped uh, or cone-shaped uh, uh, net, then uh, pulled by one uh, boat or ship, then that is uh, what you call uh, trolling. This is uh, another modern method of uh, fishing, and this is uh, uh, called uh, long lining. Long lining uh, has um, a line that uh, has uh, 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 hooks, and these hooks are baited. So uh, this attracts the fish, um, thinking that uh, it is food, and um, as it swallows, it is uh, hooked. So this is what you call long uh, lining. It has a uh, one uh, boat with a, a very long string uh, which has uh, hooks that are baited and the fish uh, are caught uh, uh, with the, uh, the, the hooks that are baited. This is a long line. It's a modern method of uh, fishing and uh, it is carried uh, in marine fishing grounds. My dear pupils, now allow me to talk about another, methods, uh, another uh, method of fishing that is uh, traditional methods of fishing. And this is uh, the method of fishing that was carried out uh, in the past. Uh, still, we have some fishermen who are still using it today, maybe because of uh, financial reasons. So these are traditional methods of fishing. We have uh, one, uh, the use of uh, baskets. We have the use of baskets. Two, we have uh, use of spears, or what you call harpooning. Uh, we have a spear, um, somebody um, uh, targets a fish in a, uh, maybe in a water and uh, strikes it using um, either a spear or maybe using even an arrow. This is what you call uh, uh, spearing or uh, harpooning. One thing about um, uh, using of happening is that uh, one water should be the water should be clear um, so that uh, you can be able to uh, see the fish and target it and two it's supposed to be shallow enough so that after targeting it and uh, maybe hitting it you can be able to enter into the water and uh, get out the fish we also have another method of uh, fishing this is a uh, use of a uh, hand line use of hand line there is a, a stick that uh, is uh, connected to um, a line that has uh, a hook and this hook is always uh, baited and uh, a fish will be attracted by uh, the bait and uh, when it swallows then it is, uh, it is uh, hooked and then uh, you can get your fish uh, just uh, as simple as that. So that is a uh, uh, use of uh, hand lines. I've also said that you can also use uh, uh, the bows and arrows. It's also a traditional method or a method of fishing. There's also use of uh, herbs that make fish to be unconscious. Although this one is not uh, one of uh, the best or one of the um, uh, most recommended uh, method of fishing because this one uh, sweeps away um, all aquatic animals. And uh, you are supposed to only target uh, the type of uh, um, uh, fish and the size that um, has reached maybe the market uh, size, uh, that is what you are supposed to. But you see herbs, uh, when you use herbs, uh, herbs uh, uh, make all fish and even uh, uh, non-fish um, um, creatures uh, to be unconscious. And at the end of it, uh, we can kill uh, uh, such uh, animals. So uh, use of uh, herbs, it's also a traditional method of fishing. Now, my dear pupils, now allow me to talk about contributions of uh, fishing to the economy of Africa. Now one, and this one is the main one, is that um, uh, fish uh, exports and the countries of Africa foreign exchange. This, uh, remember, is the main benefit of fishing. Two, it is a human food. 
we get uh, food, uh, uh, we eat uh, fish, and fish is rich in uh, proteins. Another uh, benefit is that uh, it uh, encourages uh, the establishment of uh, fish processing industries. So in other words, I'm trying to say that uh, there are some industries that have been established because of uh, fishing. Uh, another benefit uh, is that uh, it helps to uh, raise uh, the standard of uh, living of people. Remember, fishermen who um, go fishing, they get fish, they sell, they can get money, and um, out of the money, they can uh, be able to cater for their basic needs. We also uh, um, has another, I mean, we also have another benefit, another benefit of uh, um, uh, fishing to the economy of uh, um, uh, Africa, countries in Africa, is that uh, um, it has also led to creation of uh, job opportunities. Um, people have been employed, uh, first of all, there are some who have uh, employed themselves as fishermen, there are some who are employed uh, in uh, uh, fish-related uh, uh, industries, and you see, in other words, I'm trying to say that uh, fishing has opened up uh, job opportunities to many um, Africans. It has also, uh, it is also a tourist attraction. Fish is a tourist attraction in many countries of uh, uh, Africa. We have what you call uh, uh, sport fishing, which attracts so many um, tourists. And in turn, you know, uh, tourists uh, um, pay us uh, in their own uh, uh, currency, and that's we earn foreign exchange out of that. Another benefit or contribution of uh, fishing uh, to the economy of Africa is that uh, it saves the country revenue. The money that a given country will have uh, used it to uh, import uh, fish products or fish um, is uh, saved and channeled to many other uh, developmental uh, projects. Now, uh, let me now uh, tackle uh, problems uh, that are related to uh, the fishing industry in Africa. One, we have uh, the problem of pollution. Release of uh, harmful industrial wastes and oil and oil lakes are leaks uh, to uh, sea uh, can uh, kill uh, fish. Uh, release of harmful industrial waste and oil leaks uh, uh, at the sea uh, can kill uh, this fish. Another problem is uh, overfishing. It occurs due to increased uh, demand for fish. Sometimes uh, a lot of fishing is carried out uh, excessively. This is what you call overfishing. It's also an issue. Uh, another problem is uh, export bans. Export bans, especially in foreign market. You know, sometimes uh, uh, we have uh, countries uh, uh, that uh, ban uh, fish products from uh, some uh, African country. And this is also an issue or a problem that uh, fish, uh, face uh, uh, fishing industry in Africa. Now, uh, these uh, fish bans uh, discourage uh, fishing due to lack of uh, markets. Uh, market that is. Now, allow me to talk about another problem that uh, fish uh, uh, face uh, fishing industry, that is a uh, lack of capital. Fishermen cannot buy fishing and uh, storage facilities due to lack of capital. You know, uh, most of countries uh, in Africa are what you call third world countries, and sometimes uh, capital is an, is uh, uh, is an issue. And you see some of these uh, um, uh, equipments are expensive to buy. So sometimes uh, fishermen cannot buy uh, fish and uh, storage uh, facilities due to lack of uh, uh, capital. And uh, that is to say that uh, very many um, uh, fish products, um, they go bad as a result of this. There's also a presence of fish predators. Fish predators uh, discourage uh, breeding and multiplication of uh, fish, thus um, reducing um, uh, fishing in uh, some uh, fishing grounds. There's also what you call fish poach poaching. Fish poaching is also a problem that faces uh, the fishing industry in Kenya, uh, in Africa, sorry. Uh, it is a problem that uh, affects uh, um, uh, uh, fish uh, industry in Africa and uh, it is done by some foreign fishing companies. So presence of uh, um, uh, fish poaching is uh, done by some foreign uh, fishing companies, uh, companies on the continental shelf of Africa. There's also another problem. Um, this is a poor uh, means of uh, transport. It uh, it delays. Uh, uh, it leads to delay in delivery of uh, fish uh, to the market. You know, most of these uh, fishing grounds are situated uh, in uh, areas where. 
um, roads are in bad state and therefore transporting uh, fish products or fish uh, to the market um, uh, takes time and sometimes fish reach uh, the market when they are almost uh, bad or already uh, bad or spoiled. There is also a problem of uh, limited market. Fish uh, eating is not uh, very common in many uh, countries of Africa and this uh, reduces uh, the market um, where this fish is supposed to be sold. And lastly, we have a presence of weeds. It is difficult to fish uh, in inland fishing lakes and rivers that uh, have uh, these weeds, um, such as uh, water hyacinth. And uh, Lake Victoria is a very good example of um, uh, this, uh, the issue of um, uh, the water hyacinth that embeds uh, um, fishing on um, uh, this uh, lake. My dear people, uh, we have reached at the end of our lesson uh, whereby we have discussed about um, um, uh, fishing and uh, fishing grounds, methods of fishing, the modern methods of fishing, the traditional methods of fishing, uh, the benefits of uh, fishing to um, fishing industry in Africa and the problems as well. I would like uh, to advise you that uh, you can uh, replay this video as many times as you can in order to acquaint yourself uh, with facts about uh, fishing in Africa. You can also subscribe to our YouTube. Just go to our YouTube and write uh, our YouTube account is Peter Namasaka and then uh, subscribe. Then after subscribing, please uh, remember to press the bell icon and each time uh, we post a new lesson, you'll always uh, get notification to this fact. We have uh, tackled all lessons there, taught uh, in um, uh, primary level, starting ranging from class uh, 4, 5, 6, and uh, uh, 7 and 8. All lessons have been tackled there. So kindly please uh, take this opportunity to get this uh, lesson so that uh, uh, while at home, uh, du during this COVID time, you can always uh, access uh, education. Remember, subscription has nothing to do with your credit. credit. There are no charges on your airtime or credit. It is just meant to give you a notification that a new lesson has been posted. Otherwise, continue staying safe at home. Bye-bye.